It's smaller than the couch. It's really trouble. I think I need to buy a new one. Since I left, I bought that one yesterday. It's nice. It's beautiful. But I'm dining with the owner earlier. Apart okay. from the sign, you do not need to change this. this is, or maybe what you could have, what you could do maybe, is cut it. I can cut it to to fit certain parts of the couch the, instead of just making it. Their mics, like I can hear them. Okay. Okay, welcome at another evening of Fertile Wine, <laughs> Portuguese evening with Fertile Brands. I welcome you all and thanks on behalf of the entire team of Fertile Brands. And uh, I would, uh, without wasting much of your time, uh, expecting peace all over, uh, all across the world, I would uh, call upon Unmesh Mohit Karji from uh, Mumbai, who is very uh, much active, very well on open mics. Is encourages our supporters for you know poets. Unmesh Mohit Karji. Hello, Prasanna. You want me to recite because I don't know why. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Perfect. Oh, thanks. Okay. Uh, so it's my turn, right? Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I was a bit surprised because it came. Okay. Here we go. Anyways. Uh, so this is uh, one of my favorite uh, favorite poems. I uh, hope you will also like it. I performed it in that um, yesterday as well on the Facebook Live. So here we go. Happiness is a fraud, like a witch casting a spell, never-ending mirage, enchanting beauty, making you to run after her like crazy. You are not alone. Whole village has fallen in love with her. She seduces you, you lust for her. In return, never-ending craving, never-ending wanting, yes, happiness is a fraud. Like a mission in a computer game, you achieve one to unlock other, leave many deaths to unlock one, just to get the next mission called next level of happiness. Asking for more lives, and once you win the game, they ask you to give it all up, the moksha. Now you fight for your next mission to give it all up. Yes, happiness is a fraud. All the big shots, millennials, who in our eyes have got it all and then left it all, not for moksha or for a great cause, but to hide their money and earn more money or is it an affair? Once again, I tell you, Happiness is a fraud. If you are into it and happy to play the game, that is the name one which you can never tame. Short-lived fame, a limited edition game. The name, shame, flickering flame, also offered by God. Also offered by God. Yes, happiness is a fraud. Yes, happiness is a fraud. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Happiness is a fraud. <laughs> the moments are trivial. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. It's a spiritual, you know, kind of thing. Recitation. Thank you for presenting your beautiful poem. Thanks, sir. Wish, wish. Now I would like to call upon Kathy Jo Brandt, who is a first timer on our, you know, poetic evening with Fatal Brands. Kathy, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, my poem is about teachers because I didn't get in the last time. So this, this is the one I'll read. It's uh, my mother, my teacher. I was most blessed to have a mother who could truly love me like no other. So my lessons were well learned. She was very punctual right on time. We started 
her lessons she did assign. The three R's were drilled into our minds. I still remember how to cast out nines. I even wrote a poem back when. My years were few, yes, way back then. We traveled, oh, so many miles. Mother made class fun, so we had smiles. All our lessons we learned well. Mother, you taught us oh so swell. You were mother and teacher combined, a combination that's hard to find. You were as sweet as sweet could be, though we tried your patience constantly. While you rest in peace, we take great care to remember our lessons you taught with prayer. Wonderful, really. As mother is your first guru, I would say teacher. On that note, I would yes. like to call upon our spiritual guru, Rick Spisek, to continue there. Rick. Thank you so very much. Uh, my poem is uh, <clears throat> called The Troll Empire. We all know that uh, there are great empires and small empires. There are empires led by wise men and women and there are empires led by fools. Uh, this is one of those. Here we go. The Troll Empire. The moral midgets marauding parade focus their local logistics on digits, counting only on their stacks of cash, measuring life in pennies, pounds in their sizable stash, eyes locked on the coins in the slot, and that ever empty golden pot with paper dollars for their dress suit collars and cuffs, never, ever enough. And their dress shoes are papered and lined with headlines from the evening's corporate news. They love to attend meetings and while talking insurance, get warm feelings of stock debentures and dreams of rich mixing carburetors. Moral midgets dream of daunted digits. Ones and zeros are their heroes. Flaunting, they give their time to fives and dimes. They never contribute to help the poor and see a homeless man and want to send him to Afghanistan. If they can play with the panhandler approaches, they get the notion to ask him for money, then think he's oh so funny. He takes candies from kids. I've seen it, it's true. And Halloween, he gets dressed up and never stops till his trunk is messed full of candy and cakes. He's no fake taker, this moonlit maker. The troll empire's all around. And if you're heartless, then you found the central king of the thing. It's you. I can tell from the fruit that you do. The troll empire is a trash masher a flyer and stacks of the trams of wooden couldn't stand the parlay of trolley be free from the troll empire be free be free wonderful wonderful that's <laughs> that's excellent presentation so thank you thank you thanks for coming and she poetry flows through her veins you know she regularly regularly conducts workshops she is fin belly from Prasanna sir, Prasanna sir, <laughs> your voice is not audible. And everybody, uh, is it not so audible? Other poet's voice is also not audible. Oh, maybe it's so hard. Your the device might be created, uh, might, might be problem in giving you a problem. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, Prasna, your, your your voice is really low, but the other people are okay. But your voice is really really low. I don't know what's uh, what's the problem inside. Your voice is really low. Yesterday, he had discharged of such a poem in a beautiful manner. His voice is the lowest. His voice is the lowest. He, he has lost all the yesterday to what he said he showed. Yes, Pongo, how is now? <laughs> is it okay? Yeah, it sounds, it sounds better. No, not excellent, but it, it definitely changed. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. I think I could, you know, come closer a little bit. Uh, maybe I just trying. Okay. I was just calling Finn. Finn, uh, mic is yours. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry for the uh, technical glitch. And I would request so, other for others to kindly mute their mics. So I'm actually going to share a piece um, from a another poet that I found the other day. Um, I did share this um, at another venue as well, but uh, and I shared it on my, my program on Twitter space. Um, I, I'm just so enamored by the idea of this poem. Um, so really deep message. It's called Inflammation by Nikki Finney. Inflammation, Nikki Finney. The air in the high school is swollen. My heart balloons as I smooth my name tag down. The woman checking me at Austin East Magnet High School has a warning. They may not have much to say. I have not come to measure their verbs or their vowels. My vested interest is their red blood cells. East Knoxville, where six students in one year from one high school are dead by gun violence. As I walk to Miss Hall's young writer's class, 16 year old with the mud red beauty of the Maasai fly past me in the hall late for class. There are no visible signs of bruising. A blood test could reveal the damage done these last 400 years. A blood test is a fine modern measurement of the hemocysteine levels moving through precious growing creative bodies. There are no blood tests in my bag, and I only have one hour to measure what I have traveled here to know. East Knoxville, 50 years before, every grocery store, bakery, doctor's office, barber shop, pharmacy, juke joint, Miss Lucille's reader of palms, closed down and laid to rest on the new Civic Center pyre. Blood sugar levels brought bought season tickets to the moon. Families on the east side came to know American architecture intimately, how the right side of Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard arced into the halls of the high school and the left side dangled at the front door of Jarnigan and Sons Mortuary, oldest black business in town. A swelling is how the body begins to heal. A blood test can be a historical marker for the inflammation of disparity. My ballooning heart enters the door of their A, B, and O world. I am met by 14 framed faces of curious encyclopedic sunlight. Their Wolof and Benin mouths follow me around the room like awakened cicadas. I ask them to read. They stop buzzing mid-air, hold their patterns, wondering if I have come to take something else from them. The one in perfect white sneakers with beats dangling off his ears keeps his head under his hoodie. The two by the window use the glass as dream portals, watching, then aiming their father's eyes farther out into the rise of the Blue Ridge Mountain light, settling the pitch roof of Jarnigan and Sun. The room, the room is full of clover, field of hide, luck, and chance, but the burning tenderness of their inflammation wants out. Inflammation is the fight response from the body when the immune system leaps into action, even when there is no visible injury. Angelina extends her gray tablet out to me. Her dark Motown eyes began their return to earth. I read her poem as if it belongs in my mouth. Their words reach and ricochet. My immune system kicks in just as Jamar Trey decides I might be worthy, landing, handing me his fragile worry filled rope, his mother's Lindy Hop, in and out of the Dutch double, rope of illness. She says spunky Afro-Latin read it with black girl attitude, kept under my tongue for a moment when the fear in their eyes is molten and strawberry. She cheers. Leonard begins with a piercing refusal to never be a statistic and ends with his mother's double helix, Hela. Never-ending cells of extraordinary love alighting every face in the room. It is 9 a.m. on a Friday morning in East Knoxville. I have lost my tally and count. The young poets 
have broken my fever. Thank you. Wow. Wow, that's so touching. That's Finn for you all. She's a mentor, you know, regularly conducts workshops, poetry classes, proms, and everything. Finn, thanks for coming and taking your time. Hope you're doing, doing well. Hope you're getting better. And thanks for taking your time and coming and, you know, uh, sitting your piece. Now I would like to call upon Harinder Chima from Punjab. She is a very active member of the Fatal Bands and she writes so well and she is very active. Harinder Chima, ma'am. A very good evening to everyone gathered and my heartfelt gratitude to Kumar Prasanna once again for having me here. Uh, I believe I'm audible. All right, okay. So not taking much of your time, I'll straight away go to my poem, which is The Poet's Office. I get up early in the morn, sometimes even before dawn. My office has no fixed hours. I have to travel near and far. And you thought being a poet is easy. To fill the bag of my mind, inspiration I have to find. Some from the mountains, some from the sky, some from the village belly, some from the shepherd boy, some from the flowers on the trees, some from the busy honey bees, some from the fresh morning dew, some from the petals new, some from the squirrels and the birds, Every day I visit their world. And then I weave thoughts into words and send them to different worlds, mounting them on the social media chariot. The whole day I run and sweat. And you thought being a poet is easy. For hours I wait for the moon. The sun inspires me in the noon to get a of the star to touch the snow. I pray for rains and the rainbow. I cry to see the fish in the net. My office doesn't close even after sunset. My mind travels to the foreign lands and sends signals to my hands. And as I collect the thoughts in my cart, the ink flows from my heart. That is how I create a verse. And my office is the whole universe. And you thought being a poet is easy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Social media chariot. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful use as well. Beautiful imagery, I would say. Thank, Thank you, you so thanks for coming and thanks for presenting yet again a wonderful poem of yours. Thank, thanks. Thank you thanks once again, honor. Prasanna. It's an honor and a privilege always to be here. And more than anything else, it is such a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you. On that note, let me call upon a young poet, a young and very dynamic poet, I would say he is Spongo. Hi Prasna, thank you very much for having me and uh, thank you very much for always reminding me to be here every Sunday. Thank you very much. Um, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Pongo, but some have chosen to call me the honorable mentor for as they say my metaphors are so honorable they deserve a seat in the parliament. But please do not tell the government people because you know they have a tendency of coming out guns blazing. Ra -ta 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 -ta. I'm a spoken word artist and uh, author from Zimbabwe. I currently live in Freetown, Sierra Leone, and I'm grateful to be among you. Uh, the poem I'm going to recite is from my first book. Uh, Trials, uh, which is a collection of 21 poems, or oh, hyphen, uh, which is a collection of 21 uh, poems. Uh, it's available on Lulu. Uh, I'll share the details after this. Uh, the Monsters. I decided to take a smoke break the other evening. A few hundred meters from my house, I came across this old man. He asked me, son, do you have a lighter? I mean, I was on a smoke break, of course, I had a lighter. I walked up to him and as tradition requires me 
I greeted first. Good evening, say. I hope your night is going really well. Here's the light. He pulled out a cigarette from his pocket, carefully placed it on his lips before he set it on fire. As if he was reading my mind, he blew all the smoke right into my face. And he said, son, we, we are the monsters. We, we are your leaders. We've got a gun to your head because we fear you. We, we are the demons. We, we are the preachers. We've got fairy tales in your head to control you. We use beliefs, the media and alternatives to control, delete and alternatives, divisions to breed altercations, experimenting with your people during vaccination, TV screens causing identity assassination. We sanction nations, then we offer them resuscitation. Mouth to mouth, smell our colonial breath, inhaling our essence through a kiss of death so you can look down upon your color, bleach your skin in a beauty pallor, renting an identity, enriching our entity. See, we take the profits, then we take more money when you give to the profits, so you get drunk to buckle eels, early mornings to circle bills. You're up before the sun rays because you have the sun to raise wages, a rare sum to raise. We removed you from your bunch ways and gave you or was done to praise. I was standing there looking at this old man like, come on, you just borrowed the lighter. Where's all this coming from? Before I could ask for my lighter back, you said, son, I said, we, we are the monsters. We, we are your leaders. We've got a gun to your head because we fear you. We, we are the demons. We, we are the preachers. We've got fairy tales in your head to steal from you. We own the leaders you are led by televisions you were bred by walking with your head high but knowing you were dead guys see your penal gland is calcified the order wants me pacified because all of this is classified that should not tell this information no a new order is information yes promotion of a sinful nation we spread disease of bomba nation meet up in obama's nation to legalize abominations and nah we ain't taking crap like constipation. See, stripping naked is now an occupation. Sex robots now making some computations. Second coming, yeah, yeah, we've got you waiting while we're taking over and dominating. This is the matrix. We sit down and wait tricks. We do pew with beliefs. We we pew to stay sick. So these are the basics. Keep you chasing things to buy with your pay slips. All of creation completed on day six. Tesla knew the key. We took it. So face it. Peace. Thank you, everybody. My goodness, my goodness, Mongo, you see these goosebumps. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I have no words to explain. Make some noise for Spongo. <laughs> Spongo, I'm missing your voice, man. That's the, you know, that it opened my. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, where is Zom Conto? Zom Conto, we should do, I mean, we should also have this Zom Conto. <laughs> I, I, I'll try and make sure he comes here next Sunday. He's on work. He's on work now. <laughs> he's on work. So I, that's I think friend. he's working today. Yeah, yeah. yeah, friends, that's Pongo for you. He's, you know, you know, he's pocket wise, spoken, noticed in everything. He's doing everything. Uh, he's all across. Spongo, we're warm. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And now I go to Kerala, this land of, you know, <laughs> State of Gods, I mean, sacred land of, land of Gods. I call upon Dr. Janata Ramanathan, ma'am. Dr. Janata Ramanathan. Let me see, I think she's here. Ma'am? Has she left? I can see. Oh, sorry, sorry, very sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good evening, friends. Happy to be with another evening with Fertile Brains and to see new friends. And I'll recite my poem. That is my daughter's birthday falls on September 14th. So I wrote a poem um, to her. So I'll recite now. My Cinderella. Sinking into the whirlpool of misery, making mess a life tinged with dejection. I search somewhere for something to hold on, knocking the doors of shrines with wish, pleaded for a hope to sustain my life. You are an abode of comfort to me, 
you are magically dropped with care into my own you started breathing living inside me with all love my sense of joy knew no bounds every day is a celebration of your touch cherish the bulging notes you sent the love kicks and the fond leaves miraculously you became my life oh my pleasure breath and sunshine you are a spring to me a spring that made my essay lush with love gathering momentum i raced to see and fell down to note the magical lies you are an elixir of my life an incarnation of love and care my pride and perpetuity god you gave me a rebirth a birth to hold my princess close to my bosom a lifetime my silver love you were a feather doll in my hands you spread the aura of happiness i sense the aroma of a paradise when you blend your breath with oikos the butterflies hover over the cradle peeping in to see a flower bunch you mesmerize me to my dear baby i cannot wait to cuddle you my honey who held my life to your little finger you are my adorable princess with the tiara and blooms the antenna hair and the jasmine flowers you are a thrilling puzzle for you breathe life into me the god to be and mother to be in my life Thank wow, you. Wow, wow, wow. That's a beautiful birthday present. She certainly is the elixir of life. <laughs> no doubt about it. Thank you. My birthday wishes in advance. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, uh, Prasanna, one, one request. My niece uh, from uh, England, she came suddenly. So I'll go visit and I'll join you. Please excuse me. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I'll you. go and join you. Yeah, yeah. Please, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. it will be here i'll come yes now now let me move uh, to europe i think europe now i would like to call up one bogdana from romania she is of hi everybody <laughs> thank you kumar for reminding me that <laughs> i'm i'm welcome here uh, i had some problems with my zoom and i had to install it again so it was a very very a uh, deep period of uh, uh, you know being absent here but i'm happy to come again so for those who don't know me i am bogdana i am from romania and i will read you a poem from my book because i have a book it's called my soul pyramid and uh, i usually write short poems but i hope that my message will come to you So my poem is called Casino. My whole life is a casino. I played everything and risked everything to become what I want. I played my tears, my mistakes. I played my sleep and my awake hours. I played my questions and my answers. I hope my life will have a five-star ticket. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, Bogdana, I could read uh, yeah, another one, small. Yeah, another one. Okay, another one. Let's see what I have. Uh, it's called, uh, wait a little. It was here in my front. Oh, Destiny's Choice. He was chosen by God to be blind, but to see beyond his eyes. chosen by god to feel what others cannot feel to feel the beauty of inside and not the fake from the outside he was destined to see only the truth and not the lies on people's lips he was happy not to see so many masks around this child was destined to smile although he was blind people thought he was crazy but he thanked god for seeing what he had to see beautiful bagdana which for crisp and sweet and you know few small short and sweet poems thanks for presenting thank you thanks for making it to you know the poetic evening thank you thank uh, you very now, much 
let me call upon the one who is very active he writes like bogdana he writes on short poems you know um, some the like tanka and some other forms he's mick meza mick meza is recently on visit for you know poetry meets to greece and all and he won his uh, certificates to i mean you know award to mick mike is yours hi how are you i'm currently in uh, italy at the moment going back to australia on the 15th okay here's a poem one from greece that i entered in there it's on new grain i might have read it here before i'm not sure i swim at the beach then i had a shower i think i wet myself war makes unhappy poets the yellow and blue slowly dissipating gold buys weapons in war armaments companies profit on human suffering we observe the worst of capitalism the fall of kiev destruction of democracy news online stream refugees crossing borders frankincense and myrrh sent rises over ukraine skies across ukraine a cross is absent on corpses the ukraine president marriage vows till death do us part war makes unhappy people handkerchiefs in hand and tears on faces and the next poem is the one I, i did win an international prize for it came third and it's love is not art it's not as heavy as the other one i write this verse because i do not love you i admire you in my universe when i think of us two a separation where oil sits on mora the difference between you and me is a subject i study to make a clear breakthrough for you to accept artemis hunts with eros's blowpipe in the chase that my timing is bad it's always the words i lack our crossing is always unplanned they roll words off the track lines are always linear sketch is portrayed in words outline them in the shape of roses where our color outlines converge from abstract to posies a study of flowers hangs in the gallery love is not art it is felt artists will pursue the topic while the rest fall into it then you just realize it's all erotic say la vie thank you very much kuma happy to be coming from europe this time around in italy actually from Bye. australia from australia to europe <laughs> you've been you've been roaming around you yeah? make this a very timely poem i would say i was a very timely poem and very profound and so the war is going on there let there not be wars and the peace should prevail everywhere and on that note let me call upon harin uh, hasmuk mehta sir a very senior member of our group and he writes every day a minimum of four po- five poems to say until now he did done 30 poems 30000 poems sorry 30000 poems <laughs> uh hasmuk mehta sir can you hear me hasmuk mehta sir you're on the bo- you're on the deck so kindly unmute your mic uh, let me unmute your mic hasmuk mehta sir Okay, now move. Let's move on to the next poet, who is a. His main theme is love. He writes on love, romance, and everything. Basically, love, subtle love. He's from Bangladesh. He's a very well-known poet. He is Dr. Jahangir Alam Rustam. Jahangir, Dr. Jahangir, please. Hello. yeah go ahead that is from bangladesh and a special thanks to prashanna okay i am reciting my first poem from the golden book charms of love this one all famous book 
And the name of the poem is The Ceaseless Rain. Ever dropping rain dances and sings when it is ceaseless. Floating clouds dazzle in the sky when flying in a maze. The transparent downpour comes down as bliss. On the ground, every drop as far along at a case. Is the drowning drop always an ever spitful blessing that comes to adorn the earth with sheen and pull? During the ceaseless rain, people get lost in gossips. A fickle lover finds oneself, someone who often makes peace. On a tiny twig of a tree, a dowsing bird takes a flip as she enjoys the dropping rain as an ever enjoying peep. Rumbling sounds resound when the rain falls on a tin shed. Idle men enjoy sleeping, feeling cozy in their bed. Dreadful sound comes down from the turbulent open sky. The pollution of clouds invites lightning and rain as they cry. Lovers feel charming to think about their cherished darlings. Parents are busy cooking feed and cozy with their siblings. Trees stand spiritless and idle as the rain is ceaseless. Sometimes in movement, when the wind they face, earth is a glamour and happiness to get the ceaseless rain that appears to be a blessed one, erases her grief and pain. And the second one from uh, Dream of Love. The name of the poem, The Heavenly Gift. The exclusive reach for you I gifted from heaven before my birth when I was an honorary citizen. The wreath is made from laughs and rolling tears. The wreath bears the memory of hundreds of thousands of years. The shimmering moon comes to see the rising sun salutes the heavenly wreath. Birds and beasts blink their eyes to see as it was a thing of heaven and me. To gain the glittering view of the multicolored wreath, some fairies come down to see on earth as it is the only legend of me. The int intoxicated insects will buzz and dance to have a glance. Angels are guarding as it is a lone thing of existence. Though the wreath is made of music and tear, identity of legend and myth of earth and heaven, those we are. Though you stay far away from me, you are my only thinking. After getting the next birth, I will get you either a spouse or a sweetheart or a darling. Thank you. Beautiful, sir. Beautiful. You're truly a romantic, uh, true uh, love poet, I would say. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming, sir. Thanks for coming. And now I would uh, go across to, uh, once again, to the state of, uh, you know, uh, greenery. It's, it's a land of gods. And, uh, you know, we just celebrated Ona, if you, may, you know. I call upon Dr. Molly Joseph, ma'am, who is very active, a well-known writer. She is herself is an inspiration for all of the writers, especially for me. <laughs> Molly Joseph, ma'am, please welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, dear prisoner. To be in your, I mean, with fertile brain, it's such an experience for me. I seldom fail to miss. This time, Rick also reminded me here is going to be that great thing that gave me. Yes, yes, I come from the green, green land of Kerala. We had had our onam, onam, which would create ripples of festivity through the nooks and corners of our green Kerala. It is a harvest festival. 
and uh, from far off, uh, nuclear family should be coming or flooding over to the ancestral home to celebrate on them in all its togetherness. For two COVID shutdown cocooned years, we couldn't. We celebrated. And then it is over. I am now just reading out to you the latest that is fresh from the oven. You know, when the fullness was there, and then suddenly what is left behind is the emptiness. So this is my poem. Fullness, emptiness. The swell and ebb of autumn waves gone. How high it vaulted up those hectic waves uproarious. Bought races speeding, squashing backwaters. People free from COVID cocoons in common get togethers, feasts, fun games, dance, drum beats, shopping. So much of drama around. Far off nuclear families blocking up ancestral homes. Old sunken eyes glistening in joyous reunion. The F's take the inevitable exodus. Silence be when the courtyard filled with children's noises empty. Old age reclines on the armchair. Staring into the void. Back again to the rut. Nothing to hope for. Nothing to wait for. Desolation fumbles upon a consolation for the sunken eyed. Ha! Ah, lucky to have had one more honor. So that is the other side. The aftermath of honor. The emptiness that is sedimented. I hope you all got it. This accompanies any joyous union. You know, after that, it fades away. The F take the inevitable exodus. Thank you, dears. It is fine. It's, it's a moment of wonder. You, it, 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 your poem, you know, <laughs> renders uh, speechless for yeah. a moment. Thank you. Thank you. I hope I get the parapupa as <laughs> Kind of items we had, you know. So have you been? Have you been to Kerala one time or other? I've been. I've been there. I've been. I studied there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. So you have that nostalgia, no? Yeah, One of the nostalgia. Yeah. Okay, so friends. That, Happy meeting you. Thank, thank you. On that note, let me go to jump to you know yet another poet who written. A man who has written 14 books uh, in, uh, in the native language and the English as well. He's a well known poet, uh, writer, and uh, you know, uh, from Kerala itself, Sridharan Parakode. Sridharan. Welcome, sir. Kindly unmute your mic and set your poem. Sridharan. Hello. I don't know whether I am audible or not. You are perfectly audible and you are visible too. You are looking good. And, you know, <laughs> I wish you a happy one now, Billet. <laughs> happy one now. And this is about uh, the flowers. flowers. This is the festival of flowers also. Onam, Thiru Onam. Just like uh, Dr. Moli has, Madam has just said what was Onam and what is. And just I am thinking of Onam in a, another angle. Okay, yeah. first I just uh, tried to recite my poem in English, okay? So its name is Poovili. Poovili means the call of flowers, yes. Onaming eti edo tu marinyile nanam kunungiyam kattu poovi Pukal parikende Vattini rakkende, oru vankutu karukke vende. 
കുന്നായ കുന്നെല്ലാം കുത്തിയിടിച്ചാലും കാക്കപ്പൂള്ളിടം കാട്ടിത്തരാം എല്ലാരും ഒന്നെന്ന ചിന്തകൾ പൂവിടാൻ എന്തിന മാന്തമൻ കൂട്ടുകാരെ കണ്ണു കലങ്ങി കല പില കൂട്ടുന്നു കല്ലുകൾ തെന്നീ നടന്നിടുന്നു വേദന തിന്നുന്നു വെച്ചു പോയിടുന്നു വാർദ്ധകം വല്ലാതെ ആയിരുന്നു ഉള്ളിലെത്തിയൂ കെടുത്തുവാൻ നോക്കിയിട്ട് വയ്യാതെയാവുന്നു ജീവിതങ്ങൾ വല്ല വിധേനയും കിട്ടുന്നതപ്പടി തെല്ലും ഫലത്തിൽ വരില്ല എന്നോ കള്ളത്തരത്തിനോ കാവൽ നിന്നിടുമോ കൈക്കരുത്തുള്ളവരുള്ള കാലം എല്ലാം മറക്കാൻ തുടങ്ങുന്ന നേരത്തും എല്ലാം തെളിഞ്ഞോ മറഞ്ഞിടുന്നു you and me this is a very short poem you are silence make me panic you are silence makes me panic since you are mine since you are mine another one burden burden how can i carry you when my head is already overburden how can i carry you when my head is already overburden loss without knowing the loss of the teeth in the front row without knowing the loss of the teeth in the front row i am still laughing and imitating others <laughs> i am still laughing and imitating short that's witty yet you know it messes you know it is feel when i talk about you i start the mic off when i talk about you i start the mic off and open but on you yours is off always yours is always off yes thank you thank you very much thank that's you that's wonderful sir that's wonderful that's the way i mean i like the way you presented i like the way you sang you know that's so hello prana are yes, you getting sir. me now perfect okay. perfect perfect sir perfect just just a minute i was just asking uh, you know reacting to the uh, sridharan sir so sridharan sir uh, yeah thanks for uh, i mean uh, thanks for coming and thanks for presenting you know that the uh, you know the malayalam boy you know song is uh, as well you know i was so it was so overwhelming for me <laughs> to know <laughs> i mean to hear and thanks thank you thank you thank you for presenting your right and this short poems and they really they they are so beautiful thank you sir thank you okay. so thank you welcome back are you getting me present now yes sir sir please go ahead sir go ahead, go ahead. Okay. otherwise you will may you might no i i will wait no but no worries you can give others but now i got it i am well prepared <laughs> no you, you could you could recite sir now may i may you could okay, say no okay. i got one minute huh? i because you know i was such, i was waiting for your call so you cannot say no but one minute ha uh, yes uh, welcome and good evening to all and uh, i thanking prasanna uh, for giving me visible appearance after three futile attempts <laughs> i don't know why the technique was going down for me only <laughs> with uh, so much weight anyhow Uh, prasanna so kind of you yeah thanks at least you allowed me allowed me to appear <laughs> so okay today i have got a, uh, two incidences in my life uh, one is sad one and uh, one is a happy one so uh, last three times i had prepared for it you know and uh, uh, both have a, a great impact on my life you know at uh, that time i could not uh, recite for uh, dr radha krishnan uh, on his uh, teachers day you know i would love to put it before you because uh, it has so much significance on my uh, you all know, i i would like to put that i was uh, i was uh, with the air force you know and uh, luckily i was uh, posted to delhi and uh, uh, we were we were we were put on the descending road of rashtrapati bhavan you know where uh, this radha krishna was to relinquish his office and uh, 
we were in arms standing there and uh, i saw the president's uh, chariot passing uh, you know his face so shining a turban so white and uh, we had heard so much and another thing was that uh, dr zakino hussain was to take over and uh, both the incidents uh, i i was to witness in my young age you know so without wasting time i'll go direct to uh, radha krishnan sir you know so uh, he is a teacher you know teacher so i have uh, defined teachers as tears emotions it is caliber harmonious eminent resourceful that is teacher in my eyes you know so teacher our mentor future creator and mentor for builder always for students to present the reality of the world and disclosure of many for secrets students regard each word spoken and understood the thought for the food dr radhakrishnan was the first indian to reach at oxford and imparted education work for the fundamental causes and never was thereafter he was not only an indian philosopher but proved to be an astute politician here first vice president of india and uh, president later he was a former soviet union ambassador he was an ardent supporter of hinduism and questioned the ignorance of western wisdom he was not only a scholar but religious philosopher too he held the chair of king george 5 on mental and moral science he was the second ambassador to russia and later on held a prestigious position in india he was awarded several high awards knighthood the bharat ratna the british order of empire was not only a member help age india who helped and worked for the elderly people best ever known teacher he shined as a philosopher academicians and peace ambassador to earn an outstanding honor teacher should be the best mind in the country he said an appeal to all to work for the humanity his birthday is celebrated as teachers day showing the future generation the realistic way the 5th september it shall be remembered as teachers day i have seen him leaving the presidential office always to be remembered as a future promises and this with this uh, i wanted to uh, pay my tribute to dr radhakrishnan so i had taken privilege from prasanna to present it even it was late you know <laughs> no 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 never late sir never late never late at you presented your young know, show you shown you shown up your dedication and you presented an exquisite you know tribute to radhakrishnan sir and dr radha sarvepalli radhakrishnan sir and uh, you know Uh, today is the saddest day in my life you know uh, my my wife uh, uh, left for a board 6 years back you know so uh, yeah, one was a good day and one was sad day today and today is uh, her uh, anniversary also so yes. i would like to recite in her memory you know, hindi poem i i i would love if you agree i will go ahead with it yeah yeah please please go ahead sir teri yaad आँखों में आंसू नहीं तम रहे जीवन की यादें आती रहे दिल से बुखारे नजरे सुखाए तेरे साथ कारों कैसे झुकाए आँखों दिल रोता है खूब सताता है रात को भी सोने नहीं देता है फिर याद में मैं अब दिन नहीं लगता दिल रहता उदासी 
तू ही तो थी मेरे दिल की धड़कन ख्याल रखती थी मेरा हेल्पल पल के बिछाए नजर है टिकाए मन ही मन मुस्कुराती तब साजन घर आए घर को सजाना स्वर्ग बनाना एक दूसरे को अपना बनाना स्नेह से तरबर एहसास दिलाना फूलों की तरह खुशबू को फैलाना याद दिलाता तेरा मुस्कुराना बच्चों को डांटना प्यार जताना सबके लिए कभी भूखा भी सो जाना पर ना दिखाना दुख को भूल जाना आंखों में आंसू तेरी फोटो देख कर मुझे रोना आता गला सुखता और दुष्का भर जाता मन को मनाया फूल चढ़ाया तेरी याद को कभी बुला न पाया आंखों में आंसू हम दोनों का मिलना और एक हो जाना कुदरत का कमाल जीवन का संदेशा ना था मन में संचय और अंदेशा सुख से रहना यही थी मंशा आंखों आंसू आज तू नहीं तो दिल गम गिन है दिन रात तो है पर हसी नहीं है सुर्ख चेहरे के साथ सूखा पड़ा है समय भी रुका है पर दिल रो पड़ा है आखो मेरा मूविंग सर जवाब नहीं आपका अब रोइएगा मत प्लीज आप ना हमेशा ना आपके साथ ही है वो तो आपसे इंस्पिरेशन मिलती है हम सबको आप जितने आप प्रेजेंट किए हैं आप आपसे ही हौसला हमको मिलती है जितना आपकी उम्र है आ कमर कमल पुंदर साहब को बुलाना चाहूँगा इस मौके पर वो हमारे साथ है सर ने क्या शब्दों को पिरोया है बहुत ही मार्मिक रचना दी बहुत खूबसूरती के साथ शब्दों को गिराया मैं तो मंत्र मुग्ध हो गया सुन रहा था सर को और ताली वजह वगैरह नहीं रुक पाया फिर मैं बहुत सुंदर बहुत ही सुंदर तो मैं सर को ही एक समर्पित करता हूँ कि कैसे याद आती है जब बिछड़ जाते हैं तो उस तरह का ही के जो लव होता है या वाइफ होती है जब वो तेरी जुल्फों के साय में खोना याद आता है तेरे जानों पे सर रख कर रोना याद आता है तेरी जुल्फों के साय में खोना याद आता है वो टे और जब जवानी होती है और उनकी गलियों के चक्कर कटते हैं तब गलियां भी घूरती हैं तो देखें वो टेढ़े में रास्ते तेरे घर को जाते हुए वो टेढ़े में रास्ते तेरे घर को जाते हुए के उनका घूर कर मुझको देखना याद आता है कि उनका घूर कर मुझको 
देखना याद आता है तेरे जानों पे सर रख कर रोना याद आता है और जो लव होता है उसकी कोई एज नहीं होती है किसी तरह का भी तो वो भी एक कहता हूँ कि न कोई उम्र होती है न कोई जब मोहब्बत की न कोई उम्र होती है न कोई जब मोहब्बत की हमें फिर भी तेरा दर पे वो जो वेट करना होता है कि सेकंड का जो लम्हा होता है सदियों में बीतता है तेरा न कोई उम्र होती है न कोई जब मोहब्बत की हमें फिर भी तेरा दर पे आना याद आता है हमें फिर भी तेरा दर पे आना याद आता है तेरे जानों पे सर रख कर रोना याद आता है और आपको विलेज की तरफ लिए चलता हूँ कि जब शहर में प्रदेश में रहते हैं लोग बाहर रहते हैं तो उनको कैसे याद आती है घर की किस तरीके से तड़पते हैं लोग हम भी रहते हैं शहर में गांव छोड़ गए हुए हैं दो पैसे के लालच में लेकिन सच्चा ही उसकी ओलट होती है चाहे कितने आप तरक्की कर लें कि वही खेत पगड़ी वही गुड़ रोटी और लस्सी वही खेत पगड़ी वही गुड़ रोटी और लस्सी कमल को शहर में गाओ जाना याद आता है कमल को शहर में गाओ जाना याद आता है तेरी गुल्फों के साए में खोना याद आता है तेरे जानों रोना याद आता है अरे बेहतरीन गाय की बेहतरीन पेशकश बाप रे बाप थैंक यू let me say proudly <laughs> is such a humble being and uh, you yeah, know well known poet thank yes. you so wonderful poet thank you sir thank you for taking us to his emotional ride <laughs> emotional ride bahutrin bahut 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 ko bahut ko dhanyawad dhanyawad sir dhanyawad and that note i would like to carry the uh, torch forward and i would call upon uh, uh, uh uh francisca 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 you're there you could turn on your mic <laughs> turn on my camera <laughs> hey hi how's everybody today doing well great 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 it's raining here I have one called Borders Are Invisible Walls. Borders are invisible walls. In in May, Canadian friends descend down to the south. They get cheap tickets before June's CMA Music Festival. If you have any friends of classmates that you want to see, here's my advice before and after our US lockdown go while they are open on both sides borders 
Who needs them? Yet invisible borders are made too often. Borders are invisible walls we pass through. So remember, even if someone puts up a border, we can still be together because we have ways to find each other and show each other how much we care about each other. Thank you, guys. Exactly. That's a featured poet for you, Jenny, <laughs> you know, Francesca. Always present something, some thoughtful and social issues, you know, based the poems. Thanks, Francesca. Now I would go to my lovely Jennifer. <laughs> she married Dr. A, you know, two weeks gap. Jen. Yes. Hello. Hi, thank you. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm go my poem deals with a lot of social aspects. This one, finished writing it yesterday. It's called Self to Blame. The gun that shot, the bullet which killed my father was made by man. Man earned money selling the gun, knowing it's no fun, aware it's used to kill, can defend oneself more so to kill. Don't want to avenge my father's death, yet should I? I would not dare sue the company that made, sold the bullets, the gun, not to blame. His mother smoked for pleasure. Back then, not knowing too much smoking can lead to cancer, death. She smoked, now she is dead. He would not dare try to sue the companies that made, sold the tobacco, the cigarettes. He knows too much excess damages health. They are not fully to blame. My good friend swam in the sea, a shark took his life. I dare not blame God for creating the shark. My friend knew even good swimmers can drown or be killed by wild creatures of the sea. He loved the water, accepted the risks. God is not to be blamed. A stranger invited her to dinner. She came dressed, tempting him with her sexiness, showing too much legs, too much breasts, whispering sweet words, playing him with her fingers. She went eagerly. He invited her to his bedroom. She went eagerly, knowing something else, not dinner, would be served there. Clothes fell. Because his kisses were not as sweet as she expected, she begged him to stop. He, unlike a machine with a switch to turn on and off, his mind beyond control continued. She sued him, rape. Judge granted her millions. He must pay. What punishment should he get? What punishment should she, the initiator, get? A female customer ordered her coffee hot. What she ordered, she got. She, not the waiter or waitress, spilled the coffee, burning her skin. She, not the waitress, put the coffee between her legs. She sued. Greedily, the judge, so unjust, granted her millions of dollars the company must pay. Why must someone else pay for one's own stupid mistake? Why fool ourselves, be hypocritical in our quest to fill up our treasure chest? Greedy humans, unfair world, unfair justice system, we are all to blame. Priorities wrong. Priorities wrong. Thank you. Wow. Yet another. 
you know thought provoking and i would say stop and quit smoking smoking is injurious to health your health thanks jennifer at again presenting a thought provoking poem and you are the i i i came to i, I was known that you are an erotic poet <laughs> poet is but you know right <laughs> now you trying to be a social <laughs> i write on all themes <laughs> but amazing amazing i'm just started this you know <laughs> jokes about what but yeah, yes thank you thank you ne- for ne- that. next time next time i'll do an erotic one <laughs> <laughs> wonderful wonderful thank you thank you jennifer now let me call upon tanya from canada tanya is a well known poet and she's very active she writes so well and tanya tanya is Go Hello through. everybody. Thank you, I... Kumar. Uh, great word, poets, for invitation. Thank you very much. Um, I have two short poems. One poem, Waves. Waves is aroma like water in Dalmatia, like in bar like in vancouver smells and the big waves i see them alone loneliness in this city and there are millions of us it's roaring the ocean is gray and it's raining time of, of big waves in me in people animals which are slowly approaching the cities. They are not afraid. People are afraid. I am uh, afraid. And waves like life strong as the wind blow, make pebbles, strong water grinds. Big waves are coming and then they won't never be the same again. I get used to it and cry. Never the same again. Never. And that's just the beginning. Thank you. And my second uh, poem from my book, but uh, from Serbia. Yeah. Actors. Stage of the world. Everyone plays their roles. Mm-hmm. Someone gets better, someone that not. And get and better or worse. Been, but he, he's never been. But maybe he wanted. Maybe he thought he would deceive him, himself to make someone better than himself. People, don't act. Someone that you are not, but you better try to peek into yourself. Listen, you may be surprised what your body is hiding in. You are not need to be clowns. Listen well, silence never sleep. Thank you. Wow. Do you have Serbian um, poem as well? Serbian, I mean, in language, Serbian language, you could present it as, you could read uh, it. Okay. Izvor. Ne govori mi kako tići, kako preboleti. Ti ne čuješ me srce kako ludo kuca. I ni stobogan krv sleće. Ne dišem. Ne govori mi sutra će biti bolje. I da je svet protkan sjajnim nitima boje sunca. Ti ne vidiš tu kišu što nesrećno lupa o krovove grada i nestaje polako. Rasipa se i izdahne. Ne govori mi čuti. Naše će oči sagledati svu težinu nebeskih oblaka. Oči će naša uvrata vremenu nemim pogledima da se sretnu. Ne govori vas i ona spava. Ne šapući da ne probudiš milijarde očiju sa neba što trepere. 
ne govori mi ništa. U tvoju luku i onako se ulivaju moja duga sećanja. Izbor joj ne znaš. Thank you. Wow, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for reading out your... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Beautiful. Yes. Thank you. Now let me go to my smiling poet, my smiling lovely friend. He's from Israel. His, his name is Isaac Cohen. Isaac. Isaac, kindly unmute your mic. Isaac writes in, uh, you know, short poems yet very powerful very impressive i kindly unmute your mic uh right. yes. yeah yeah i recall the act of <clears throat> the light on all the stages was born for me my soul flies over the sky Go. Thank you, Adikon, Israel. <laughs> you can yeah. present that another one. I mean, another one, you know. You can... <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to? No, no, uh, not now, uh, because okay. I am in the streets. Yeah, sure. uh, when I came to the uh, to my home, uh, I read the uh, two uh, another. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Now Thank I would you. like to call upon a uh, very well. I mean, he's a luminary. I would say he was an inspiration, like Asmuk Mehta sir. He's he's from Bengal, West Bengal, and his name is Kali Ghosh. Doctor Kali Ghosh. I would welcome him to recite his poem. He loves his poem. Good evening to all. Am I audible? Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, yeah, uh, perfectly audible and visible. Uh, good evening to all. And I am elated uh, and uh, privileged to have been invited by my brother, Prasanna Kumarji, the well-known and renowned world poet of our contemporary poet of the century. And I express my heartfelt gratitude and thankfulness uh, to him for inviting me to recite my poems on the very evening, on this very rainy evening. And I am elated, very much elated. My poem entitled, Your Breathing, Your Breathing, from the poetry book, Whispers of My Soul. Your breathing is whispering into my ears, so pulsating, so sonorous. I pay heed to time and again, a sweet, delicate, and winsome smile, wishing to unite with thee a passionate exuberance, a divine light, aura, and luster, so fragrant and so delicate, a springtide flowing and glowing, enlivening and enlightening, flourishing and augmenting blossoms, your breathing and heart throbbing, a sonorous intoxication, a soulful and crazy cry, but not winning, does not hurt and free, soothing and consoling. We sing to bury your breath into mine, an effusion, an overflowing of love, to enlighten the tortured souls of humanity. My second poem, I have nothing to give you. I have nothing to give you. In this mundane world, we have nothing to give anyone, but God gives everyone. I have nothing to give you in this mundane world. I have nothing to give you, mere good morning and goodbye, a soul in serenity. The red rose blooms and blooms and smiles 
fluttering and tossing gently by the gentle wind, but only sitting by the window panes, brooding and staring at the azure of the autumn sky. The fragile life and honor, beauty in existence, mortality and mutability, and in solemnity, stilling times of time and eternity, stilling times of Time, stealing times of time and eternity. We are marching to the eternity with our soulful cry to God. And we soon will be united with the Supreme Soul, the God, Almighty God, who is our King of Kings. I, thanks, I express my thanks and gratitude to all and especially to my brother Kumar Prasannoji, the world poet of the contemporary poet. Thanks to all. Amen, sir. Amen. Thanks for your beautiful dear. Thanks for presenting. What would I say? What would I say? <laughs> no, I, I'm lost of words, I would say. Anyway, moving on. Uh, up next, we have. Uh, let's go to the regional, uh, you know, uh, uh, poetry. I mean, uh, regional, you know, language. Uh, you could enjoy the regional flavor. She is. I mean, the one who comes next would be, you know, you know I, I. She is amazing. I mean, she is. I mean, she is so enthusiastic. She is so exuberant. She is so enthusiastic. She is so lively. And she's staying in Mysore, and she writes in Kannada, Telugu, English as well. But uh, she always encourages poetry, poems. They are always there on the platform. She recently has acquired her, you know, PhD, and she's done in, uh, you know, uh, graduation in Kannada and Telugu, and you know, some other language such as, you know, veteran. Poet is a she is a very well known poet, a honorable poet, a esteemed poet, luminary. I would say she is Prabha Shastri Joshila for you from my soul. Namaste to everybody. Thank you very much, Prasanna, and good uh, good day, good evening to all my poet friends. Now I am telling you about Dasara Festival in Mysore. This is world famous festival. So I written in my mother tongue Telugu. Mysore Dasara. Mysore Dasara. Mysore Dasara Jagatake Uka Andam Chandam. Mysore Dasara Jagatake Antham Chanda Andaram Anandanga Sambaralu Chesukundam Navaratrula Lo Mysore Nagaro Vijit Versa Deepala Vilugulu Chudam Navaratrula Lo Mysore Nagaro Vijit Versa Deepala Vilugulu Chudam Rajigari Kota Rangu Rangula di Vela Mamedi Toradalu Rajigari Kota Rangu Rangula di Vela Mamedi Toradalu Ningi Ninchi Diviki Digi Vachina Tara la Sirula Talukulu Ningi Ninchi Diviki Digi Vachina Tara la Sirula Talukulu Bangaru Simhasana Mumbai Bangaru Simhasana Pai, what I are the baru at Tahasaru Jatra Bangaru Simhasana Pai, what I are the baru at Tahasala Jatra Vijaya the Simi Rojo Vijaya the Simi Rojo Vistra Vikata Vude Gimpus Rekta Ekadekado Nunchi Ekadekado Nunchi Tarli Vache Jenathan Dohadu Muchata Anandalu Kikiris in a railu, Basulu, Rabasala, Rodalu Kikiris in a railu, 
బస్సులు రభసల రోదలు చిత్ర విచిత్ర వేషాలు జంబూ సవారి బంగారు బండపంలో ఊరేగింపులు యు కెన్ టెల్ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ సమ్ పీపుల్ ఇఫ్ దే ఆర్ నాట్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ఆఫ్టర్ వర్డ్స్ ఓకే నవదుర్గ రూపిణి ఐగిరి నందిని నందిత మోదిని మహిషాసుర మర్దిని విద్య వేద్య మహిమా శ్రీ చక్రపుర వాసిని మనోన్మణి కోరిన వరములు శుభాలిచ్చు జీవించు తల్లి సాంస్కృతిక కళల వైద్య సంగీత జానపద ఆధునిక నృత్య ప్రభలు దసరా ఉత్సవాలలో దసరా ఉత్సవాలలో ఉత్సాహంగా మనం సాగుదాం రండి రండి చూచువారులకు చూట ముచ్చట గలుపు ఆట పాటలలో తేలుదాం పసందైన కర్ణాటక ఆహారాల సవిరుచులు తిందాం ఆహా భోజనంబు వింతైన వంటకాలు అంటూ బొజ్జ నిండుగా ఆరగించుదాం సుమ భరిత వివిధ వరన్న వన్న విరుల నవ్వులు లకరించుదాం ఎగ్జిబిషన్ మైసూర్ పాక్ బిసిబేడాబాద్ మసాలా దోశ ధారవాడ మిర్చి బజ్జీలు నూరూరించు తిళ్ళు దేశ విదేశ అతిథుల రాకలు తొక్కిసలాటలు దేశ విదేశ అతిథుల రాకలు తొక్కిసలాటలు సెమీ వృక్ష పూజలు టార్చిలైట్ పెరేడు అబ్బబ్బా ఒకటేమిటి ఇలా ఎన్నెన్నో అద్భుతాలు చూడచ్చు రండి రండి ఇలకే ఇలకే మైసూరు ఒక ఇంపు సొంపుల సర్గధామ అది నేను నివసించు నివాసమే సుమ అది నేను నివసించు నివాసమే సుమ మరి మరి తల్లి రండి తరించండి తబ్బిబ్బుల సంతసించండి మరి తల్లి రండి తరించండి తబ్బిబ్బుల సంతసించండి మై నేమ్ ఈజ్ ప్రభా శాస్త్రి ఐ ఆమ్ ఫ్రమ్ మైసూర్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ టు ఎవ్రీబడి నమస్తే ప్రసన్న ఫినిష్ మై పోయా యూ కెన్ టెల్ దమ్ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఇఫ్ ఎనీబడి wants to hey i am not listening <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry my sorry my friends sorry thus prabha shastri for you joshi da prasa for you all that she depicted the grand year the celebration of dasara festival in your now vibrant manner that's held every year in my show and this is celebrated in pomp and gaiety you know uh, that's uh, beautifully de- described and depicted through her poem and great round of applause for joshila ma'am prabha shastri ma'am thank you for presenting now let me carry the torch forward and i call let me call upon the poet from the same place he is a well known writer his quote to the heart to the literature and his name is lakshman rao lakshman rao hi sir very good morning good evening good evening to everybody here well i would like to straight away go to my poem just give me two minutes well the title of the poem is uh, conscience and conscientiousness conscience and conscientiousness conscience is a camouflage cluster need to purify here in open there as in the blood that seeks constant recycling as part and parcel of refining dead cells die their death new aspires need to spring arise conscientiousness consciousness comes with cautious baggage conscientiousness comes with cautious baggage all the troubles and worldly worries absorb you as though you are not aware need to detach dissolve the bone while fake lies die their death new truths need to arise new truths need to arise conscience is the sanctum of the shrine conscience is the sanctum of the shrine while conscientiousness is the temple complex while conscientiousness is the temple complex thank you wow beautiful relation you made it you know conscience yeah. and consciousness are interrelated like conscience is the sanctum of the shrine 
the mool virat sort of thing while the consciousness is the temple complex yeah uh, uh, you, you need to have the spiritual knowledge about it you know philosophical knowledge to it. knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> it's somehow <a more> like <laughs> sync to explore those <laughs> you know the, the, actually they are the both are concepts i would say yeah, <laughs> yeah the way, the way you use words the so elaborate term is you know it cannot define it in there yeah poet is all about phrasing sir poet is all about uh, poetizing and phrasing how do, how you use the words in your terms of uh, phrasing or else what happens is like the prose come into picture when prose come into picture you lose the beauty of uh, beauty or the charm of poetry right so for me poetry is is all about phrasing phrasing the right words at the right time it which uh, it comes with the diction clarity and uh, concise exactly right on that point exactly thank i agree you. with you thank you thank you now okay. let me jump to my uh very humble you know bengi cool, so i'll just leave sir i have certain thing cool i'll just leave okay Morning. thank you thank you sir thank you thank you and now i have a time go to my lovely satluri padmavati ma'am she's very humble and very at she is a scholar herself satluri padmavati ma'am yeah yeah hello good evening good evening prasanna and good evening everyone uh, who is present here i would like to recite uh, my english poem the title is the title of the poem is choices choices sometimes i'm muddled sometimes i'm bewildered with plenty of opportunities i'm often in two minds as it's tough to decide the silken flowery road one side the rugged pebbled path on the other i look at one after the other i know i cannot travel the both and if i lose one i may miss something more i take chances to select people friendly selfish honest or loving oh the number is very large that can't be merged into one my probability becomes my option shopping is my another fond stop attractive and usable things possibilities put me in a big trouble joyous selection proves what i am contemplations boost me ever metropolitan cities with luxury villages with greenery and peace rivers seas hills and valleys snowy areas or sandy deserts what should i choose i opt for the best and comfortable one oh how many serendipities do i have if my mind accepts any body may not if one is suitable the other may not what to do and what to choose all depends on my wisdom purely and purely only on wisdom thank you always puzzling always puzzling conundrum <laughs> you're always you know confused with it. hope you so, liked it hope you enjoyed liked it, it ma'am you know you always you know something to you always you get to learn you know when you when someone reads when when someone you know uh, say something or writes something you know then they uh, spot out uh, you get to know some you know yes. the, the new yes. direction uh, you know, it's a kind of it respect you know yeah. it's just of. nothing but only the thought just come out that's it <laughs> Thank you, thank, you so thank you thank you thank you thank you for coming and hope you're doing well and uh, and, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you ma'am thank and you and thank thank you now let me jump to my young boy it is from yet another from mysore and karnataka she is basically from kerala but she is studying in she completed her engineering and she got a placement in tcs wow that's sweta for you <laughs> sweta she read so well i mean such a great saying guys sweta hi good evening uh, uh so i will go uh, i go with my poetry and the title is perfume of student life the memories that dance with the ocean of thoughts the drawbacks that teach the lessons to know the compromises and the woes it teaches 
The whole recipe invites me with the flavor to taste. The perfume of student love now I inhale. Two jiggles hit inside the valve of the heart, the bitterness withering, the sweetness inside, and the eye that speaks more with its own nomenclature, the hands pointing other with anonymous silhouettes, the perfume of student life, now I inhale. Feelings of hours, feeling to close ones, and then getting locked by the solace, pair of words to boost in always, the happiest and touching things, now I cherish, the perfume of student life, now I inhale. Class bunking, the most sad letters, now calls me back to the bench where I seated. Incomplete assignments and absence mind, tickling advice by the professors, now rings in ears, the perfume of student life, now I inhale. That's all from me. Thank you, sir. Wow, wow, wow. So sweet, so sweet. <laughs> That's Sweta for you all. Thank you, sir. Friends. She writes so beautifully, so, you know, small poems, but yes, yeah, short poems, but they are, you know, I mean, amazing. Uh, <laughs> the way she writes, I mean, the uses of vocabulary and everything, you know. Thanks, Sweta, uh, for making the noise. I would now go to... Saumin Roy. Saumin. Saumin, you are there with us so far. Hello. Saumin, yeah, yeah. Hello. Good, good. Yeah, good. Good evening, good evening. A very good evening to everyone. Thank you for inviting me. So my poem is, here it goes like imagination. Am I audible? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Imagine life as a blank sheet of paper, blotting ink with radiant shine of nature, darkening life with spaces full of color and flavors, space the lotus in the ancient instrumental river, painting life with diverse classes of color, blooming innocent a smiling flower. Shapes of color portray different moods. Jingle of life, swing in glee, even in solitude, painting and painting, thy paintbrush seem illuminating. Imagine life in a colorful canvas, dry blue eyes dances in enchanting canvas. Thank you. May I read something else? Yeah, Apart yeah, go ahead. This? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to the Bengali one. And of course, it's puja time, so it's written on puja. Charviya. Akashi batashi churi anandu. Shuni maji bhori aji durga puja gondu. Dhagpurgu, dhagpurgu, durga puja elu. Agu moni bodhu shuri, bhuvan bhori galu. Kash puli dhola legechi. Kumar uliyo sheje uchechi. Monji ar raina ughari. Hoi choi kori shitha bhaja chattori, sharut kale sharu diya, kotui narodi, bacha bhuru mete uthechi, ni ak rash plani, bhuno chir gondhe holu, mon matuara, chukhe chuk ar boi kuti jomi uthlo sharu diya, shoshchi te e shuru holu, mujo kori kroma, nacha nachi hoi choi, utshabi matuara, Abushe she, Bishad Niki, Elo, Shubu Bijaya, Shidu Kala, She Sholo, Bishul Jun, B, Shabai Bali, Ma, Abarishuma, Tunga. Thank you very much and wish everyone a very happy Sharubia and Gap. Thank you. I wish you all the best, uh, Somin. Thank you for presenting your Bengali and English poem as well. Thanks for coming. And now I would go, I request Dr. Rupali Sarka, ma'am, to say few words and recite her poem. Uh, she requests no introduction, <laughs> basically. <laughs> that is why I, there is no, I mean, not saying any word. Dr. Rupali, ma'am. Well, thank you so much, uh, Prasanna. Uh, it's so uh, so difficult uh, not to be part of what you're doing. You know, I was feeling quite ill, but then, you know, the temptation is so high. I said, no, somehow I have to get in and read. Uh, but, you know, there's a fest. Uh, we, a lot of people have read about festivals. Uh, we begin since yesterday. 
our uh, worship of our ancestors. It's called Shraad. Yeah. And it's a very, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's remembering uh, those who have gone. But interestingly, it's always been remembering the male members of the family. But now people have started thinking of the women who have gone in the family. And we have started also praying for them. So this is called, uh, and this uh, this uh, particular remembrance is called Shran. Uh, it's like All Souls Day, you know, it's the same sort of, the same thing. Uh, and then this Shran. These quiet, prayerful days went to light an oil lamp to walk inside memory lane beside those who passed over the rainbow a long, some time ago. A time to know the bones, the time to know the bones um, and the bustles which are yours. And now were theirs too. That smile, the twinkle in the baby's eyes, seemed like the fading sepia photograph framed on a neglected damp wall. This time of the year, when the sun's rays slant away and the torrential monsoon go away, they say our ancestors visit us. These are those days when ghosts walk about, casually dropping in just when it's dinner time. Or you may see one under the tall mango tree, the one who had so lovingly planted the mango seed, whose sweetness you had sucked. Most times, the ghost ancestors are men, fathers, grandfathers, their fathers, and sometimes that bachelor uncle who romance the village girls. Stories abound of war, bullets, and bravery of the yeti on the mountainside, his lack of hair still preserved. Of hair. Feasted and fetid in their lifetime, these ordinary men are just a ghost of themselves, hungering and longing for earthly food. So, you know, we cook the food that they liked. So, curried chicken or mutton roasted on a spit, a sweet and sour pumpkin with puris fried in oil, rice boiled slowly in milk for hours with jaggery and nuts, all Pitaji's favorites, Pitaji's father, all father's favorite. A patriarchal ghost indeed. He will watch in ghostly silence as the raggedy poor will eat. And mother, what should we cook for her? Ask the girls. They were always with her. Her helping hands till soldiers in uniform came on horses and took them away to bear their sons. Ammi, what did she like to eat? Who? Ammi. Frail Ammi. No one seemed to know. She ate after her husband and children had eaten, they said, whatever little remained. Sometimes nothing at all. Perhaps just a cup of tea. Thank you. I like the usage of the word patriarch ghost. Patriarch ghost man. That's really, I mean, satiric sarcasm, you know. Pitra on, on, on the season of in the month of in this uh, Pitra Baksh. This is the month of Pitra Baksh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amavashi or something. <laughs> there is so many. Thank you so much. There is but you know, it's so gendered. You know, these festivals it is so gendered. It's only the male of the family, you know, what he did, what he did. Then I asked my husband, what about your mother? What did she like? Oh, I don't know. I'll ask my sisters. We, <laughs> so we asked the sisters. And even they said, oh, she hardly ate. You know, and this is so true of women all over the world. You know, we always eat after our children. We eat after we are fed up family. And then there may not be much left to eat. Exactly. You know, thank you so much. Whatever the feminists, whatever they are, you know, if you think about this. <laughs> Core feminist. <laughs> I mean, thank you so I, much. Thank you, thank you, man. Thank you, man. By presenting for those who, who could not understand, I mean, uh, yeah, it is in English. So, so, it's a very ancestral tribute. I mean, let me thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thanks for coming. How is your health? How is your health? How is your fever and all? Uh, 
and everybody is down with you know something you know how is your fever and comfort? i'm feeling much better i told you very tempted i couldn't possibly stay away from your program <laughs> <laughs> thank you vidya ma'am was supposed to come but then she i think she might be have you know <laughs> hung up with some work and some maybe next time thank you ma'am thank you on that note let me uh, you know uh, take the foot uh sing forward and i call upon ganga lakshmi patnaik ma'am ganga lakshmi patnaik dr ganga lakshmi patnaik i think she has a thing muted ma'am kindly unmute your mic dr ganga lakshmi patnaik Okay, let me call. Okay, sir, I have changed my device. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Next device. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Hello, am I audible, sir? Yeah, yeah, perfect, perfect, man, perfect. Good evening, everyone. It's a great pleasure to receive invitation from Kumar Prashanna, host of Fertile Brains, to attend the online poem reading program. i was extremely impressed with the reading program prashanna kumar chaired last time that time everything seemed to work out very well now i would like to read a poem the title is forgiveness key to happiness my title is separate from all other poets the title is forgiveness key to happiness before reading the poem i like to speak why should we forgive forgiveness project has shown that forgive lessons hurt anger stress depression that people experience it is said to urge human to forgive divine is an aphorism meaning that making mistakes is part of human nature yet for humans to forgive each other for those errors that is more like something a god would do now my poem goes like this forgiveness key to happiness title is this time i shall make move to learn how to love and how to forgive this time i shall make move to learn how to love and how to forgive wherever i go i carry the seeds of forgiveness for the sake of serenity peace wherever i go i carry the seeds of forgiveness for the sake of serenity peace forgiveness is not strange not constraint drops to planet globe as gentle rain does from heaven forgiveness is not strange not constraint drops to planet globe as gentle rain does from heaven forgive is doubly blessed blesses the one who forgives and also the one who is forgiven forgive is doubly blessed blesses the one who forgives and also the one who is forgiven man who extends forgiveness shows greatness reflects quality of god god purifies us from sins man who extends forgiveness shows greatness reflects quality of god god purifies us from sins it is valuable worthwhile useful strongest highest god wants you to beg your pardon for others it's valuable worthwhile useful strongest highest god wants you to beg your pardon for others be grateful it is the gratefulness that makes one happy so learn to live gratefully love again be grateful it is the gratefulness that makes one happy so learn to live gratefully love again put an end to resent anger disappears just as soon as resentment is deliberately forgotten put an end to resent 
anger disappears just as soon as resentment is deliberately forgotten my poem presentation is over and i am grateful to have the support of poets like you thank you once again thank you sir well well very well said man very well said very well said very well said for you nis i will the lies uh, the joy lies in for you nis i would say it perfectly summed up so beautifully recited so beautifully uh, very well penned thank you thank you thank you for your recitation and presentation as well thank you sir thanks for thank coming you. thanks for coming now i would like to call call upon a very dynamic poet uh, uh, she writes you know very deeply i mean i would say she, her name is uh, sudipta mishra dr sudipta mishra good evening sir good evening. may be audible yes yes perfectly Okay. The stigma around period and menstrual taboos are still with us. When will we release from this societal clutch? When will we let loose of these dogmatic ideas? Let's dedicate one poem to all women who are the creator of the beautiful creation of divine power. Yes. the bliss a heavy flow of passion surges from her essence like a never ending river blood crosses from the finite realm towards infinite possibilities so why is she taunted without any reason she is the reproductive one among the millions of unknown portions she is the reason for a new dawn then why she is hidden she takes the pride of bearing you all yet she fears to walk alone stains of guilt never allow her to choose her freedom limits of societal instructions clutch her cherish direction some preconceived notions become the restrictions within the constraints of four walls often a blooming flower suffers to unfold love and care generate affection for the chosen one who is stigmatized with some discrimination she conceals the known information to everyone at she seasoned with the dogmatic notions she feels uneasy talking about the blooming season nobody knows about her untold irritation that magma inside her essence everything is stored once it flows like lava she allows it with an intense emotion she bears the chains with the soul of a champion so let her be the woman of an elegant kind let her be the generator of the human mind o oh, let her traverse the belief of the impure realm to a pure reason celebrate the cycle of red moon with the vigor of a glorious woman magic of love oozes from her sacred spirit and ever growing fire the skin to shine bright it's over wow thank you that, that, that is in the in fact, in fact i would say that's a whole presentation i mean the, i mean uh, this is like the, the stigma that is associated yeah. with you know <laughs> the, that you. is not much talked about i uh, i must appreciate uh, for coming up with uh, such a wonderful poem and uh, such a uh, topic you know this is really a stigma you know i mean uh, thank you thank you for presenting you know it again a powerful poem it's um, my pleasure thank you. thank you thank you now i would like to call upon murli reni kuntla um, you know he's a singer writer poet, everything is a very active member uh, murli <laughs> reni kuntla <laughs> वेलकम सर It would like the blossom of rose colored in the night. There are two lovers 
they love each other the princess black and the princess is in white like the moon princess black in color is so to be ugly the princess is in white color like the full moon there is a pedantic cloud between them the hearts became one their love is What happened, sir? So this is a problem. You can send this for me. Um, Hello, sir. Yeah, go ahead, sir. So this is right, sir. This, because you're not functioning for me, I'm opening now. Uh, they love is uh, eternal number ten before they love. When they would like to marry, the elders and the so-called people have not accepted for their marriage with the matching in colors due to matching the colors. Both of them cry and shout at each other and pray and pray to God and God is all to give them fair colors. And this thing, all the blessing with them to get married or becoming couple, all the gods and goddesses have blessed them with kindness, and they have become couple. Then all the gay colors and the pink or light colors have blessed them in the presence of the beauty of the nature. All the gods and goddesses gave them blessings and disappeared. The newly married couple went to the place to honeymoon to enjoy. The moon is shining very bright, very bright, and following the rays, the mountains and trees and oceans, and everyone can enjoy. And they have got couple. And they have blessed. They have been blessed with the God. The satisfied interest, huh? Because there is no correct. There is no that. Thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Now let me go to Prasanna Vata sir. Prasanna Vata sir, what do you have for us? Sir, kindly unmute your mic, sir. I'm audible? Yes, sir. You're audible. Sweet evening. Sweet poetic friends. I'm Prasanna Kumar Vata. Thanks, Shabani Top Jasmai, with a super duper personality, Mr. Prashanti Kumar, and honor of Patrol Great Group, for inviting me to this great part of Parishadi Park. Feeling fortunate enough to be with talented poets around the world, I'm really mesmerized and motivated with the royal day or hosting of Mr. Prashanti Kumar. I would like to reshort the poem. Really, this time, a new poem. I'm going to recite. This poem is based on I Leo. This poem is based on I Leo. Title and caption Be My Golden Eye. Oh, my beloved and dearer golden eye, you say something or nothing. You say something or nothing, yes or no, but I can look and mark in my eagle eye. Definitely, something is in your, is in your eye. Definitely, something is in your eye. So magnetic, them shall I shout of your eye. 
touched my heart to art a flowery art. Show magnetic damsel I shot of your eye. Touched my heart to art a flowery art. You are my apple art. You are my apple of eye. You are my apple of eye. Can be erased from my mind and heart that art. Can't be erased. You are my apple of eye. Can't be erased from my mind and heart that art. Your beauty and cutie catch my eye. Your beauty and cutie catch my eye. That is never seen with others. I always see. I always see, but not look at you in my eye. I always see, but not look at you in my eye for having to be my life partner. The day I saw you out of the corner of your eye, the day I saw you out of the corner of your eye, I was sure you are mine and mine only. Six. Flushed roginess, then tucked eye to eye. Six flushed roginess, then tucked eye to eye. I'm looking forward to be yours, yours only. Never ever take my word in pig's eye. Never ever take my word. Never ever take my word in pig's eye. Come, baby, ever and ever. Be my Ubila Pai, Ubila Pai. Thank wow. you so much. Wonderful. wonderful, sir. Wonderful, wonderful. I feel it again. It's a deep and in a profound poem. I mean, it's a nice way of presentation. Thank you. Thank you for your wonderful poem. Now I would like to call upon Pantas Pangi Hutton. Pantas, kindly unmute your mic. Pantas Pangi Hutton. Brother, kindly unmute your mic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Prasanna Kumaji, for inviting me. And, uh, and uh, hello, all friends, global poet. And uh, I want to recite uh, one poem, and after I sing a song, My Way, from Frank Sinatra. This is uh, the famous song in the 60s and that, uh, way of life inside the, the first season. Uh, first, I, I recite my poem, uh, titled Rainbow After Rain. Rainbow after rain. Behind the gray clouds, there is a sun that will always ready to shine. Finally, the dark clouds will be melted in rain, which will moisten the dried grass, replenishing the dried wells. Time keeps running, rolling on. The darkness and light swiftly take on the road, continuously playing with life, laughter and tears decorating our life. It needs patience and keep on going. So many valuable lessons which have been written along the way. As a silent witness in life since long ago. Open your heart and open your eyes. The rainbow will come after rain. Do not force yourself for nothing. Just stay cool. Let's sing a song of praise to thee. Everything has its own limit. Everything will find their ultimate goal on its way. There are so many pathways 
but not all lead to life. Thank you. That is uh, my poem, Rainbow of the Rain. That's amazing. That's amazing. Rainbow of the Rain. <laughs> Beautiful. So now, yeah, I want to sing a song for you all. Uh, let's enjoy the song, My Way, from Frank Sinatra.
es ist bezahlt. Auf einem Dodo, so blöd, so zäh, kein Dodo wird, kann mir ja stehen, nur in der Sahara, oh no, oh no, not me, I did it not. Oh, what is a man? What has he got? If not himself, then he has not to say the truth. He truly feels, in other words, of one who knows the record so. I took the blow and it did more. My goodness. Thank you. My Thank goodness. you. You have taken us to the Broadway musical, man. I mean, Thank you. Thank you, President. Thank you all. I mean, we are mesmerized, you know, the mm. way of singing, the way you, I mean, wonderful. I mean, I'm speechless. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Really, you. really. Oh. I mean, so Enjoy it. Why is so beautiful singing? With that, uh, we, I would like to conclude this evening, poetic evening with Ben Petal Brains. We hope to see you next week. Thank you all.